In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a publisher PowerPoint or a PowerPoint that has not been used at the school before, and I'm going to put it into the format in the background we want for school purposes, and I'm going to show you how to create the student handouts. Now, your screen may look slightly different than mine through this process because I am using um, Office for 365 for the Mac, but all the same features are there on if you're using a Windows machine. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to download the PowerPoint. OK, so I'm going to pull the PowerPoint down. I'm going to open it with Microsoft PowerPoint. You might have to save it as a file and pull it um, into the into PowerPoint by opening it from a directory. OK, so I have the PowerPoint here. I'm going to come click on the first slide on the left hand side where all the slides are. And I'm going to do a control A or a, a or an Alt A to highlight it. You can also do Edit, Select All. Okay, I'm just using shortcut keys. Okay, so you can do Edit, Select All. The end result is that they're all going to be highlighted, and in my case, it's the left hand. It has the red box around it. Okay, then I'm going to come up and do Edit, Copy. Okay, then I'm going to do a File, New from Template. And I'm going to select the, the PowerPoint template that I want to move the presentation to. I'm going to click on the first slide. I'm going to do Edit, Paste. Okay, now, what it has done here, okay, it has taken the first, it's basically taken to, a, to my presentation template. The other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to delete that first slide. There's nothing on it. And then my title slide, okay, you can actually leave it the way it is or you can change the background a little bit for your title slide. Okay, again, you can find the layout and you can change the background. You can right click on it, okay, so on and so forth. But now I then want to come down all the way to the end slide and I want to delete out the, any extra slides that are down there at the end because I don't want extra stuff in here. Okay. So now I have everything formatted properly. I'm going to do a file save as. Okay. Now it is chapter 11. We know it's chapter 11, but I always like putting the course number in here as well. So we're going to say, um, I'm going to say CSM 101 chapter 11 and I'm going to save it to a directory that I know where it's at. Okay, so now it's saved in the new format. Then I am going to do a file and on a Windows machine you can do this as a save as or an export. Okay, different slides will come up. Okay, um, and you'll select Actually, we're going to do a save as. Okay, we wanted three slides per page for the students. Now, I am going to do this slightly differently because um, if I just export it now, okay, I don't have the choices here to select the format I want to export. So, and it will just save it the way it is. And I don't necessarily want to do that. Okay, so. I am going to, because I'm on the Mac um, version of OS X, I'm going to do a file print. I'm going to select handouts, three slides per page, and I'm going to save as a PDF. Okay. Regardless if you do a save as or a save, your key thing is you want to select handouts, three slides per page. Okay. Now, I'm going to change the title. I still am going to leave the same prefix, but I want to put handout. Okay, this tells me that the file is the three slides per page handout that we want the students to have access to. Okay, I'm going to close my PowerPoint screen because I don't need it anymore. I'm going to come back over here to the course where we have this PowerPoint in here. I'm going to open up my finder. OK, I'm going to select the chapter and the PowerPoint 
and I'm going to drag and drop it over here. And I'm going to let those upload. And we just this just takes a minute to upload. We hope. Okay, now we see that it's uploaded in the screen. I'm going to put my PowerPoint first. I'm going to take and move my um, handout. I'm going to indent it to the right, and I'd like indenting it two spaces. Okay, I'm going to change the heading here. I want it to say PowerPoint. And I normally put, I normally move that handout to the beginning, okay? Because I want it to be very clear that it's a handout. Okay. So when the student looks at it, I just want them to see the handout. So the final thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hide the PowerPoint. I don't want it available for the students. I only want the PDF handout to be available. Now, just a word of warning for anybody who's listening to this who's who's not part of a school, make sure you have rights to use the material before you change the background. Okay, we work with our publishers. They know we're going to change the backgrounds to the Porter Chester background, but make sure you have the rights to change the backgrounds. Okay, and that's how you deal with the um, handouts and moving the PowerPoints to the new templates. Hope that helps.